Hey everybody. Um, it's been a little while since I've done a video, I think. I honestly can't even tell you when it was. But I'm working in this little journal that I am filling up with my art for a new Instagram friend. Um, we, we are swapping journals and she made me this amazing flip-flop journal, she calls it. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely stunning. It's like accordion style. It has so many amazing bits in here and fantastic colors and papers. And I'm just like, I can't believe it. And she made me this gorgeous, huge journal, which is just stunning. And she filled uh, some of the pages with some mixed media already. And um, I'm just, there's three signatures in this bad boy. It's just so fantastic. So I can't wait to um, start playing. And then you have this tiny little thing <laughs> that I made on the back of a bingo board. Um, and I'm filling it with art because she wanted something from me that is filled with um, my art. So I was really surprised. I guess I just wasn't really aware that people buy journals that are filled, that are like arted up completely. And it just seemed a little bit foreign to me because I, I guess because I put so much of my, my emotion and my personal things in, in my work that I thought, well, why in the world would I send someone my personal journal, you know, um, But she expressed that she really wanted a journal that was filled with my art. So I am I'm gonna do that. I'm sure I will send her lots of other things to make up for the amazing stuff that she sent to me. Um, hers is like so over the top in a good way. So I feel like I really should try to go above and beyond. But um, of course she would say, don't do that. And I'm going to say, I am anyway. <laughs> but um, her name is, her Instagram name it is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, God's Girl Angie. Um, if you want to look her up, she has an Etsy shop and she sells some journals and I just, I can't even fathom these journals that she sent to me. So anyway, um, I, like I said, I realize I have not done much on here, uh, done a video in a while. And so I figured I would come on here, bore you with my, with my rambling and, um, work on something in this tiny little, tiny little journal. I have some of these papers here that I pulled out because I'm, I really like the I really like the color palette of purples and oranges together. Um, I don't know why, I'm just really liking that color palette. So, I am going to um, do a little bit of that. 
in this one. I do not have any plan, as always. <laughs> Today I had um, a little mini, I'm calling it a mini art journaling retreat because it was just um, a few hours. It was 10.30 to 3. I had a few ladies over, um, one local friend who gets together with me, um, or do we try to once a month, and she came and two ladies that I met on Instagram in the art community um, that are from Pennsylvania, so it took them an hour, 20 minutes, an hour and a half to get here. And um, we had a little workshop of making making some junk journals uh, with, or art journals. I don't, I honestly, I'm not even sure I know the difference to be honest with you, but um, we made some journals. Well, they did, I just kind of directed and uh, and yeah, um, we did some art journaling, a little bit of art journaling, and we just, we had a good time. So it was so fun. Um, I really enjoyed, enjoyed that. I wish that um, that is something that can happen again in the future or maybe on a bigger scale. Um, it's just trying to find, find a place um, to do it. And, um, and people that are willing to come. There's not very many people in my area that, not my area, but that are within like driving distance that, um, that do this kind of stuff. So give me a moment here. But yeah, so it was a good time. It was a good time. Um, I also was gifted by the ladies that came. The one, the one lady came, gave me this awesome big tag. It's so cool. I love the lace and the black and whites. And then the other, the other woman, um, she makes these awesome collage um this awesome collage art and paints them and I just I was drawn to this one we could pick what we which one we wanted and I just loved that one so that was so precious of them so I'll have to find a home in my art room here for them for those art I like to when people send me different things, um, I like to display them in my in my art space. Nice inspiration, and um, knowing I have other other artists' work surrounding me is always nice. I basically covered up my color palette anyway. Oh, you can see some of it. I, I feel like I keep doing, oopsies, I keep doing the same things. Um, if I look at my, look at my art, I feel like it's all kind of the same thing, just a little bit different. So I don't know, I, maybe I need to start like changing things up or something. I don't know, but uh, let's see here. What do we want to add? We'll add 
add some of this. Seriously. There we go. Oops. That's really nice, huh? Put it on this paper. I'm, of course, just always a mess, so bear with me. Oh my word, now I'm, I told you I was a mess. I'm throwing my paint cap around. Um, before in a video, I literally spilled an entire cup of paint water all over my leg and my chair in a previous video. I edited edited it out so you cannot see that part because that was really bad. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, oh, lots of mistakes. Lord, here we go again, that's gonna, okay. Maybe I should like put it out on a piece of paper or something like a normal person would. Probably did a little bit too much there. I, I've been struggling with focal points lately. I don't know about you guys, but I'm, uh, I'm just struggling with focal points. But I was inspired by um, this adorable thing from Angie, Angie Spencer from God's Girl Angie on Instagram. Uh, she sent me this, it's like the cutest little thing. And I was like, hey, wait a second, I can do that. With that, um, I always put my black ink in a in this little water bottle cap when I'm going to do my splatters. Like, I don't know if you can even see splatters, but you know what I mean. And I usually have extra. And so I just did some of these. So um, maybe this will be a... I should do more of these things. I've just kind of, I don't know why I'm in a funk of, of um, focal points lately. I don't know what to do on my own unless I have a prompt, which is kind of ridiculous. It's like my brain doesn't want to think of anything. I'm sorry that you're having to watch me cut this out and listen to me ramble. Everyone is sleeping right now, so this was like, or at least in bed. I don't know about sleeping per se, but. Oh my word. Um, so this was an opportunity for me to um, to do a video. in the quiet, although my neighbors are out front on their porch, and so I can hear them because I'm literally sitting at the front window, and clearly we have, um, it's not very insulated. So if you hear all these muffled voices, I apologize. I recently became an ambassador for a house of books and I'm so super excited about that. I think our kits are supposed to be shipping like tomorrow and I am just absolutely thrilled to get my kit. I did um, receive one a while back. Um, 
I think in the beginning when they were new, when the company was fairly new, and I received a kit And oh my gosh, I just loved opening it and seeing what was inside. And I've also gotten some of their a la carte fabric scraps that I have really enjoyed using. And so I cannot wait to get my subscription kit. They have amazing subscriptions um, where you get a kit, you can choose your size, and you get a kit um, in something like this. I think they might do fabric ones now, um, but you get just a bunch of, oh my goodness, like vintage ephemera book pages, so many fantastic things um, that are in there. And you just never know. Like I said, it's like Christmas morning. You're like opening it up and you don't know what's going to be inside. And um, for someone who art journals or junk journals, oh, it's like, it's just amazing stuff. So, um, and they have, they, they have um, lots of different a la carte things. And um, I really want to get my hands on some of the book spines. Um, and uh, I'm just excited about it. So check them out. Um, if you use my link that's on my Instagram, in my bio, you can get a 5% discount um, if you order something. So, I mean, who doesn't want a discount, right? So check it out. kind of wish these would be on white just to pop out a little bit more, but um, I didn't do that. So, oh well, always with the splatters. I do like the way, we'll splatter on top, who cares? I do like the way, um, oh, now we'll just, we'll do some more while we're at it. How about that? I have a lot of water on here. I don't know if my, oh yeah, my camera's pretty good, you can see. Um, I forget what I was saying. I swear, like, since I had COVID last year, it's almost been a year, I, my brain just is so stupid, I can't think of anything. I can't say the right words. I certainly can't spell. And my kids think that I'm like completely making it up, but I'm really not. So please, if you feel you have COVID brain, that you understand what I am saying, reach out to me and tell me so I know that I am not the only one. And then maybe, just maybe, I will also share that with my children and say, I told you, I'm not the only one. But anyway, I really like the way these look as a focal point. I don't know what I'm going to do as far as writing something. Maybe I really need to get some new pens. I'm pretty sure the majority of my pens like have no more ink or something because I need to find some scrap paper because like, look at this, like nothing. I don't understand what is going on. Also, let me know in the comments, like, what are some good pens? Like, Tombow, like, what, what is happening here? Like, it's, 
a bit disappointing that I don't have pens that actually work well. Like that, I don't even like that. So tell me what are some really good pens, like marker-ish pens or whatever. Because I have to go to my handy dandy like thin pen here. I don't know why, but I just felt like I wanted to write let friendship flourish since this is for my new friend even though maybe that was not dry yet this is my problem I'm impatient and I don't wait for things to actually dry I just can't even tell you how many fantastic friends I have made on Instagram, all from art. Like, it's just, it's crazy. Some dear friends have come out of, come out of doing art and um, having an an Instagram, an art Instagram, some dear friends from other countries and everything. It's just amazing. Uh, people I never, ever would have met in my entire life. And it was all through art journaling. So it's just fantastic. But I think I'm going to call this a day. Um, it's getting late. And um, so I'm going to be done and call this one. So... I hope you enjoyed uh, watching my video and that you weren't like too terribly bored. Um, so thanks for watching.